guys welcome you all to the PC Trips Pro. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can create shoe store website with WordPress. So guys, without learning any programming languages like HTML and Java, you can go with this WordPress platform and create your own interactive websites. So before we move further to this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel PC Trips Pro. Before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain that means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So guys let's proceed further to this. First of all you can open your browser and on the browser search for domainracer.com or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com. So guys here I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with domain racer and I really love their services. Also, they have very great services. They have instant support. As you can see, the support chat is here. It means you can directly talk to them. And also, you can directly contact to the salesperson if you are having any of the technical issues. So, I am only going to buy the domain here. So, here when you open the domain racer website, here you can see the domain option. So, click into this domain and then search for the domain also make sure while searching for a domain try to search for the name which is relevant to your website it means the keyword of your website should be in domain so guys talking about shoe store website i'll search for my store and then click into search option and now you can see there are different suggestions coming up the first one is my and the second is my storecompany.xyz the third is my dash store dash company dot com so guys if you are a developer and digital marketer then i'll suggest you to go with dot com domain because the dot com domain will show your presence globally and it also help to rank your website on top and now once you select the dot com domain you can click to this add to cart option and now you can go to the web hosting but as i earlier said that i already having hosting with domain racer so i am skipping this hosting part now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again you need to go to the domain racer website and here on the top you can see this login option so click into this login option and here now you have your credentials to login. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the domain racer. So use the same credentials to log into the account and once you log into your account you will see the services and products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services here. Also once you click on the shared hosting and domain you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys here I am directly going to the cPanel login and then enter id password and click into this login option. Now you can see the cPanel account. Once you log into the cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to bottom and in the software menu you can see this option WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click into this option and now you can see WordPress management is here. Also you have three options install, scan and manage sets. So you can click into this install option and now here we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So on the top you can see it's asking to choose the version. So always try to choose the latest version that will be good for the interface of your WordPress dashboard. And now it's coming for site name. So it is my store. And now it's coming for site description. So for example I'm taking here is hey this is my shoe store. Now it's coming for ID and the password. So you can change it according to your need. I am keeping it same as admin and admin. And now I will select the language which is English. Now guys this is the last part you have to do is select theme. So first of all click into show all theme and then search for the theme. So it was about shoe store website so I will search for shoe. But as you can see there is no match found so I'll click into this all option. So guys there's no theme which is matching to shoe store website so I'll select this one. Also if you want to see the demo of this website then you can click into this demo option. So finally I'm going to select this theme only and then click into the install option. 
so guys as you can see it's installing now so it may take some time as you can read it this may take up to three to four minutes it depends upon your internet speed how fast your internet is working so guys let it be because we can't skip this part it is the mandatory part so we will wait some few minutes more now after completing the second part you can move to the last part how you can customize your theme and how you can give the right and attractive look to your website so guys now we are done with the installation part you can see congratulations the software was installed successfully now you are given two different links on clicking into the first link you can able to see how your website will look like and now coming back to the second link which is administrative url from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your wordpress dashboard so click on this and this will redirect you to the wordpress dashboard so guys talking about the role of this dashboard let me tell you this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website as you can see either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely also you can make changes from left side here like for example if you want to add any post then you can click into this option if you want to add any media file then just click into this media also by clicking into appearance you can see you can customize your theme from here if you want to add any plugin then you can do it from here too so guys coming back to the website again on the top you can see my store and if you remember it was the name of the website i have given at the time of the installation and now in the heading part you can see hey this is my shoe store and if you remember it was a description i have given at the time of the installation so these all are the photos you can see you can also make changes to these demo photos you just need to go back to the dashboard and here you can see the option start customizing so click into this option and now guys it will help you to make changes to your website and let's suppose if you want to make changes to the header footer template pages part then you can click into this and then click into the footer part as you can see it's repairing interface and now from here you can make changes to your footer part now coming back if you want to make changes to the blog template then click into this as you can see it's preparing interface again and now from here you can make any changes to the blog templates if you want to make changes to the contact page then click into this it's preparing interface for the same and now you can make the changes from here so guys i hope it will help you to create your own shoe store website with wordpress that's it for today keep watching pc tips pro and if you have any queries then please mention it in the comment box